Yo, what's going on guys? Another campus video. So what we're talking about today is Ryan Arsenio. Tell me if I said that correctly. A man who played his first four seasons in the NBA with the Chicago Bulls, just signed a training camp deal with the Boston Celtics, which is interesting because this is a team that only has Marcus Smart, Dennis Schroeder, and yeah, Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Smart, and Peyton Pritchard as their primary point guard rotation and Marcus Smart we can all agree is better utilized off the ball not being the primary ball handler so bring Ryan Arsenio who is a career 37% three-point shooter and his best season came correct me if I'm wrong in his second season where he averaged 24 minutes a night in the past two years he has really spent the past two years actually losing minutes the year before this one, he played 16 minutes a night. And this past season, he only played 10 minutes a night, okay? And he's shown what he is, is a guy who I don't think he should be playing more than 15, 20 minutes a night. He's a very reliable backup point guard who's a pesky defender in the same vein as Facundo Campazzo. And we've, we've seen other guards who are not like length or athletically gifted with their like you know they're not very long don't have a very long wingspan or anything along those lines but they've been able to find a way to be successful in the nba by being pesky defenders hence why i said facuna Capazzo, which he's one of the more uh recent cases where he just gets up in your bubble and it's just not fun at all to see so with that being said I think Ryan Arsindio can make a case to make this team because besides being a successful, I, I don't know if you guys can hear the bell tower, but besides being a successful point guard, he has the ability to be a pesky defender who really in 15 minutes to 20 minutes a night can give you like seven points, three to five assists and a steal a game and be a very efficient basketball player. That's what you're getting with Ryan Arsindio, a player who is very efficient. He's gonna minimize his mistakes. He's gonna maximize being the efficient player he's he's unselfish to a fault which is why he's not an elite nba player he's everything he puts scoring third you know and i think really i think it's interesting you know i think it's it's interesting because you look at this team and i think dennis schroeder should be the sixth man for this team i think dennis schroeder as a as a guy, when we look back at his season with the Oklahoma City Thunder, I think that's the most interesting because you saw how they ran Chris Paul, Shea Gilchrist, Alexander, and Dennis Schroeder. And then obviously we saw how Dennis Schroeder was with the Lakers last year. I don't think that's gonna be the most successful way to do this. I think him being utilized in a Jordan Clarkson role, ask AK also sort of how the Nets would not, then I think Ime Yudoka is gonna notice that the Nets didn't have a six man last year who come off and score points in bunches like Jordan Clarkson did for the Utah Jazz. And I think that's something he's gonna invent in with Dennis Schroeder. And I think Payne Pritchard, Ryan Arcindio could be, you know, two, like Payne Pritchard can also play that six man role, but I think Payne Pritchard and Marcus Smart splitting the primary point guard duties is way better because look right there, you have Ryan Arcindio, who's a, you know, limited usage, but he'll give you high efficiency and knows his role. Payne Pritchard will give you scoring, but won't give you the defense that Ryan Arcindio. Ryan Arcindio isn't an elite defender, but he'll give you better def defense than Payne Pritchard. And then you also have my man Marcus Smart, who will give you the defense. So when you need defense and just, you know, Marcus Smart works really well with the starters, okay? So if you put, like, me, Aaron Neesmith, Jalen Brown, Jason Tate, not Jason Tate, Jason Tatum, and my apologies, Boston fans, and Robert Williams, I think that will go really freaking well for this team, okay? And I think, I really, I, I like this. I like this. I think there's a lot you can do. There's a lot of different scenarios, okay? I think Ryan Arcindio is a good pickup for the Boston Celtics, and I think it's something that people need to, look at that he could actually make this team this is a team that needs guard help okay guard and point guard specifically not shooting guard small forward at the wing position they're very set it's the point guard and the center position that they're the weakest with my belief being the point guard they're the weakest because they don't have like look they have two scores in i mean pain Pritchard's more of like an offensive guy while dennis Schroeder's a scorer then you have a defensive guy who can 
do some playmaking. And they have two playmakers, technically three now, with Ryan Arsindio and Marcus Smart, Peyton Pritchard, and Ryan Arsindio with, you know, Peyton Pritchard having the best offensive game out of those three while Marcus Smart is being the best defensive player. And in the sense that Schroeder's the best scorer, but Peyton Pritchard's, I think, the better offensive player. How Carl Anthony Town is the better scoring center, but, you know, Nicole Jokic is the best offensive center in the league. Sort of that vein. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. That's basically it.